the little oil and bread plates. We started making these a few years back and they've been very popular. What it is, is it's a, basically a short, uh, not very tall platter that has an, an inner ring inside that holds the um, olive oil, spices, garlic, that sort of stuff, Italian spices, whatever you like. And then around that, you put your broken up bread and then you dip it in the oil. But this is a popular item for us, so I gotta make some more for the Mother Earth News Fair down in just south of Asheville next month. And the way I do it, I use a wet sponge to open up the center part. I'll leave a little bit extra right there because that's about where the ring is gonna be. and then bring the rest of the bulk of the clay on out to the edge. And then I test it with a needle tool, make sure I hadn't gone too deep. I wanna leave enough thickness in the bottom, but not too much. I want it to be just right. And I, I like to have this ring in the middle to be a certain diameter because some folks like to take one of our small bowls and put in the middle and use it as a chip and dip server tray. We like to make pieces that have at least two functions. A lot of our designs are made that way, but that's the reason I use the caliper to make sure that that middle ring is gonna be big enough for the bottom of the small bowl. Then I bring out this bulk of the clay out to about 12 inches. And then I pinch my inside fingers against my outside fingers and raise up on that bowls of clay. That's what makes the wall rise. And I want it to be almost as tall as my big knuckle on my finger. That's pretty close. And that'll give me enough depth to hold enough bread or chips if you're gonna use it as a chip and dip. And then I get all the water out. If I leave any water in there, it'll crack the bottom as it dries or it'll crack in the first firing, which we call a bisque firing. Everything is fired twice. The first firing is basically just to make the clay strong enough to be able to handle it and glaze it without fear of breaking it. And that firing is fired up to 1650 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the second firing, once we take it out of that first firing and put glaze on it, we put it back in the kill and that time we fire it to 2250 degrees. In that second firing, the clay becomes what we call vitreous, which means glass-like meaning that it'll hold water even without the glaze. That's very much unlike low-fired ceramics. You have to have glaze on them for them to be able to hold water. And then they're still much more fragile. Stoneware, that's what we make, is much more durable and hard, less prone to chipping. And when it is finished, it's dishwasher and microwave safe. Now I check it the last time for the diameter, make sure I got pretty darn close, yep. And then I put it over here and I use my needle tool to cut underneath the platter and that way it'll pop loose tomorrow so I can turn it upside down on the trimming wheel and trim foot rings in the bottom. And by trimming the foot rings in there, it makes it look a little more finished. It gets the sharp edge off the bottom. And it also makes it easier to level up if, for instance, it's not perfectly flat. We don't want anything to rock. And so that's my oil and bread dipping plate.
Thank you.